A few years ago, I had the opportunity to go to Honduras on a medical missions trip with my daughter. My job was really to keep people in line and make sure that they didn't get into the clinic before they were scheduled to be in there. And one day we got into our vehicles to head to the place where we were providing care. It was a village. So the name of this village is Agua de Piedra, which is water of the rock. There's a hundred homes in this community. The community has a, a little basin of water down below the church. And, and of those hundred homes, they all tried to get water out of that little basin. It's water that basically just trickles out from under the rock. And because of that basin of water, they named the community Water of the Rock. They did try to capture water from rain uh, during the rainy seasons into various cisterns. That would be just water that they would dip out with some kind of makeshift dipper. As the day progressed, it became apparent that water was a major issue in that community. Mire, hermano Daniel, para empezar. Look, Brother Melton, to start, in the human sense, there was no way for them to ever have water because in this area, they didn't have a spring of water that they could capture and bring here. A good distance from here, there is some springs of water, but it's very low, it's in the valley. There was no way to get the water up here to where they are conversation began to grow about the need of water in the community. So the Lord laid on Brother Loper's heart the idea of helping put this well project, put something together to help provide water for the community. What Brother Loper did not know at the time was that the local community had called me over into a meeting. In that meeting, they looked at me and as they said, Brother Melton, we need water. We don't have water in this community. Is there any way you can help us get a well in this community or find a way to get water? I looked at them and I said, listen, and I know that y'all have a big need, but I don't have finances. I don't have the ability to do this. But if y'all pray, if you'll pray, I'll see what doors God can open. And I was told later that after I left that meeting with the promise that I would do my best to share the word around, they went to prayer. And uh, the pastor at that time, a young man named Fabian, uh, Fabian raised his hands and he called everybody to prayer. And after they had had a prayer, he looked at all the men in that meeting. He said, the Lord's going to provide water for our community. We try to take a missions project each fall here. I thought, man, it'd be great if we could raise money to drill a well in that community to provide fresh, clean, quality water. And the students here and an anonymous donor took it on their heart and we raised over $17,000 to drill the well. When we arrived at the schoolyard where the well had been dug, uh, they obviously were ecstatic to show us. And we made our way from that location in the schoolyard to the house that's adjacent to the school. And there in the house was a Honduran uh, schoolmaster teacher. We watched with joy as she walked over to her kitchen sink and we watched water come into her home. She was overjoyed and, and the water district leader was overjoyed and tears flowed. I was crying and, and others in the group were crying as we recognized what a significant contribution we as a staff and faculty and student body had made in the lives of these folks in this community. We then made our way up the mountain to where they had built a, a holding tank where they would pump the water from the well down in the lower region. And we could see from that elevation where water would be distributed down both sides of that hillside to feed water to homes. And we learned on the way up there that they had hand dug all of the trenches. A nearby city, San Luis, provided the funds for this holding tank. We paid for the drilling of the well. They paid for the holding tank. We, we had a celebration. The church used the school ground to have a revival as part of the celebration for the dedication of this water well. They were coming together as a community uh, to the revival, hearing the gospel of Jesus preached as a result of water being brought into their home. He came here many years ago to preach. He knows how the people have suffered without water in this community. The last uh, summertime that they had when there was not much water, he could really tell the impact. The last time they had a revival, he was hauling the water from the little water supply. So that the, the pastor and the person that came to preach the revival could, could take a bath. Those that have lived here and know what it's like to live without water can, can
can uh, feel the difference. Pues gracias a Dios para esta campaña por la inauguración. Thank the Lord for this this revival that they're having right now for the inauguration of the project. Tenemos la bendición de tener abundancia. We have the blessing of having plenty of water. Mm. Tenemos it. la bendición de tener abundancia. De And it's a blessing to have all of the water that the Lord provided. the next day it was the grand celebration it was the moment that everyone had been waiting for the official dedication of the water well and city official was there from San Luis and I was excited to tell them this water if you drink you'll be thirsty again but if you drink the water that Jesus gives you will never thirst again that's the joy and privilege that we have as Christians not only of providing an immediate need for them but providing an opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what you were able to do with the giving that you uh, participated in a couple of years ago. You've made a difference in a community that will not get over it.